Hello everyone, we are here in the lab, uh, in the building PING 7, this is lab 19. And what I have here in front of me is a hydraulic paint. What we are going to do in this practical is we are going to measure the volumetric flow rate by using this system, volumetric flow rate of water. So let me go through uh, what is this machine and, uh, and then we start with the video for how to run it uh, and how to do the experiment. First, what we have here then is uh, the hydraulic bench, as I mentioned. Uh, at the bottom here, what we have is a reservoir container and inside here what we have is water. Yeah. Inside here, there is a, an input that is going to this pump. So this pump is going to take water from the inside here and it's going to send all the water all through this pipe then comes through here, all the way here to finally end in this tank. Yeah. This is called the waiting tank. Yeah. The waiting tank is hanging from a level bar here. Yeah. That level bar acts pretty much like a scale. So what we are going to do here is we are going to use this level bar as a scale to weigh the amount of water that is in here. Yeah. We have also another weight here that is going to tell us how much this weight. Yeah. And for that, we are going to use this weight. We are going to put this weight here to know exactly how much water is inside here. So that's pretty much the hydraulic bench. Well, now let me go step by step on the number of activities that you need to do to run this experiment. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be completely sure that this tank is empty. To be able to do this, we just need to open a valve that is inside here. We can hear that the water drops. Yeah, the tank is empty and now we are going to close this. Yeah. I mentioned before that this operates as a, as a scale. So, and we have this level arm here, yeah, that is in a ratio of one to three. What that mean is that for every 45 kilograms that you have in this tank, you need to balance that with 15 kilos that you put in this water in. So let me go. We start again emptying the tank. We are going to turn the pump and we are going to regulate the flow rate with this part here. So how to do this? We are going to count how many turns we need to do to fully open this pump. <sighs> so we can start from here. We have one, two, three, four, and four. We have four turns there, 360 degrees yeah, for each turn. So if we want to do an experiment with halfway of the flow, what we need to do is close the valve two turns, 360 degrees. So we can do one, and two. So we approximately have now 50% of the volumetric flow rate that comes from that pump. So we are set up now. Okay. Next step will be, when we carry on the experiment, turning on this pump. Okay. So what is going to happen is water is going to start flowing through here, yeah, and this waiting tank is going to become sweet water. Okay. At some point, this level bar is going to touch the top of the tank, like this. Yeah. At that exact point, we need to start recording the time. Yeah. And then one of your uh, teammates is going to put this weight here, in this way. Once the weight is here, what is going to happen, of course, is what? The level arm is gonna go down again because now there is more weight here than in the tank. Yeah. After some time, the level arm is going to go again up. 
Then in your calculation, what you need to do is divide the mass that you have at <coughs> this time yeah, by the time that you recorded, and that is your volumetric flow. Yeah, I have here with me Kai and Francois. We are going to run the experiment to show you exactly how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. So as before, as I mentioned before, we have our weight tank completely empty of water. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the pump to start putting water inside of the tank. Now the arm is supposed to be level. After the first start, measuring the time. You put also the weight. It goes down. the time stops when they are again perfect. Now we can stop them. In your experiment, you are going to uh, drain this uh, weight tank here. For that, use this valve. What you need to do is just, you know, just drain the valve all the way up. Wait until the tank is drained. And then you just again back. Now we have the tank ready to start a new experiment. 